This is a little different. I've been wanting to do vlogs for a while, and this seems like a good time as any, because Christmas just happened. I don't know when this video is going up, but of course, be this being Christmas, we got a lot of new stuff! So, um, yeah, I figured I might as well start there, and eh, maybe we'll see where this vlog goes from here. Well, the first thing I got was actually this. This is a Legend of Zelda robe, it even has like this, uh, hood. <laughs> Honestly, it looks less like Link's hood and more like I'm trying to be some sort of elven Emperor Palpatine. Let the dark side of the force flow through you. I don't know what to do. You want anyway. Yeah. Everything else I got, we will go to investigate on my desk here. And jump cut! Alright, so the first thing up is, uh, you may have noticed that I sometimes wear this necklace type thing in my videos. And... It never had anything on it till now. And then, let's see if we can get that into focus here. Come on. There we go. I got this awesome thing. Legend of Zelda is like my favorite series, so it really helps that they got me this. It's like this little bottle cap thing. And the Zelda just didn't stop there, as they also got me this. It's a little handmade uh, face scrubby with like Wind Waker stuff on it. And. One of my mom's friends made this scarf, which is also a Zelda theme, so it's pretty cool. That's not the Ninja Turtles book. <sighs> Here we are. I had shown some interest in these adult coloring books a while back. These are a fairly big thing right now, and I thought they'd be cool, but I didn't know if I had any I'd like enjoy. And uh, yeah, they had this. Which has uh, pictures from the 80s cartoon, the original comics, and uh, the 2012 stuff, which is good. I like it. Let's see if we can get a good picture of that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they got me pencils to go with it, but you don't really need to see those. Another thing they got me that I believe came in the stock circle correctly is this glorious game. Uh, if you're lucky, we might be seeing some... Uh, Gameplay footage from it, maybe even right now, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But uh, yeah, this game, pure awesomeness. EDF! EDF! Next up, my parents, who know me oh so well, got me a collection of stories. And these are like three of my favorite stories ever. Classic horror literature. And these are all like really good things, and it's even got like this forward or introduction I guess by Stephen King and uh, Frankenstein in particular is one of my favorite novels I've got an old kind of abridged version here that I read a long time ago and yeah I love that story it's a great story uh, what's next oh they also got me this Minecraft book but since I don't actually have the computer version yet there's really no reason for this so, I'm, I'm going to save this for a rainy day. It's pretty cool, though. Here's a little something I bought for myself. This was, like, on sale on Amazon for 15 bucks. I couldn't help myself. Yeah. One of the best anime series ever. Like, even the anime, not, not anime fans, I recommend this to. You haven't seen this yet? Yeah, I don't know what you're waiting for. And speaking of movies, this was something very awesome I got. This is like 50 episodes of the Real Ghostbusters animated series. Not the entire series, because, well, I don't know why, but I assume it's price reasons. I, no, I'm not saying my parents are cheap. I'm saying uh, on this set, I'm assuming they didn't put the entire series up because this series was pretty big. But I've been wanting to see this for forever. I actually watched a couple episodes of it the other day. And I enjoyed myself immensely. Big Ghostbusters fan here. Haven't seen the new movie yet. But, uh... Eh, could be interesting. Could also be a pile of crap, but whatever. Let's move on to the awesome stuff. That's right. I'm talking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ah, crap. Anyway, so... The cool thing about these guys 
is Mega Bloks, while I think they're inferior quality to Legos, has always had a great, great eye, I mean, great eye for detail when making these sets. And the figures themselves are awesome. Here we got Focus. We got Bebop, Rocksteady, the Shredder, and all kinds of foot ninjas. But Quinn, I hear you ask. Aren't you like 20 years old? Yeah. I don't see the problem. Let's move on to the cool stuff. <laughs> Friggin' billboard. Let's move on to the cool stuff. Starting with Krang. Krang is awesome. I just like that they went and built a whole set like this. Look at this guy. This guy's awesome. Krang himself doesn't have much detail, but uh, the actual body is really awesome. Now, he's supposed to uh, hold the um, billboard like this, but his hands don't have very good grip. But, uh, with all that, you got like the entire... Well, you got basically the entire main villainous cast. Now, uh, something I'm actually really fond of with this set, for some reason, I love this little pizza, uh, cart. It has, like, a little slice of pizza that went in here, and I got another slice of pizza in a different set. And I just, I just like it. It's cute. It's just, I, I like it. It makes me happy. Well, what could I possibly need that will complete the set? <laughs> the party wagon might work. So the party wagon came with Mikey and April. Mikey, who I've got on this little skateboard carrying a box of pizza. And Leo and Raph both came with the Krang set. I just broke a piece off of that. Ah! Oh no! Come on, a piece! So I'm just gonna take the lid off of this. And here we got April, who has like the little shell phone thingy. Or whatever they called that back in the 80s cartoon. It's been years since I watched the 80s cartoon. And she has her camera. I do have some volumes of the 80s cartoons. I've been meaning to get down and watch, but uh, we'll have to wait till later. But yeah, we got April. We got Leo. We got Raph. And we also got Donnie. Now, you'll notice that Donnie is a little bit different from all the other turtles, and that's because he came in a standalone set without anything. Which is what Shredder over here is standing on. But, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. But I like, I like the other three that came in the, uh, sets with Krang and the party wagon. Because they have this coloration that reminds me of the old 90s films. Which are some of my favorites. I've actually got, like, the entire trilogy up here. And yeah, that's too, I can't get these on camera. Expect a review of this one soon. Well, not soon, but eventually there will be a review. Oh no, not the rest! Ah, Danny! Anyway, this. this <laughs> going back to my earlier comment about me being 20 and building blocks kind of being like baby toys at some point. The thing about these is that, well, you'd think these were aimed at children who like Ninja Turtles. The more you get into it, the more you realize this was made for, like, actual collectors and fans of the old 80s show. I mean, look at. Look at Leo. Every single turtle has, like, this level of detail put into them. Focus, please. Focus on Leo. I'm gonna focus. Apparently not. These figures are actually really detailed and fairly well articulated for their size. I get the feeling they could have sold, like, these figures in sets of two for five bucks a piece. And collectors would have eaten these up. But, uh, the coolest thing about the party wagon for me is the fact that it has only, like, one actual gimmick to it. And Krang doesn't even have a gimmick, other than he's Krang. The gimmick to the van is this. Just a simple little missile that I haven't even tried firing yet, because I don't I don't particularly care for gimmicks. I'm not even going to bother. I just broke the door off the van trying to fire it. Anyway. But the really fun part is something on the inside I'll have to try and show you very carefully. So, inside this really nifty little set is a computer monitor. And it has a character on it. Which character could that be? It is Ace Detective. Who remembers Ace Freaking Detective? Because I'm fairly certain that's only me because he's lame and I like him. 
and he reminds me of Howard the Duck, which is also lame. Anyway, so like the great attention to detail on these, and the lack of really any gimmicks, really tells me that these were aimed at like adult collectors. Honestly, I think all of this stuff the 80s girls have been getting, as of late, I mean they've always been getting it because people, because of nostalgia. But honestly, I'm not entirely unconvinced that this isn't just some big apology for coming out of the shells. <laughs> hey, at least we got pizza power out of that. Okay, so there is one last thing I got that I kind of forgot to bring out here till just now. And it's nowhere near as cool as these things. Or even some of the movies I got. But, it is pretty cool. <laughs> yep, Pokemon Tournament. I will never understand why the Wii U games always remain so expensive even after they've been out for like a year. But really, I don't need to complain. Uh... Still though, as cool as this game is, and I have played it a little bit, it's nowhere near as cool as EDF! EDF! That wraps up the very first Shaggy Turtle vlog. I actually rather enjoyed that, I want to do more. But, that'll have to wait until another time, because now, I've got to get back to work on editing our next review, which is... Critters! I am enjoying this script so much. Expect to see this little dude on there. Well, hopefully I'll get to introduce more of the storyline I'm working on. But anyway, as always, if you like the video, there's a like button for that. There's a dislike button too, but likes and dislikes apparently don't matter on YouTube anymore, so... Do what you will. Nice and nasty comments, I guess. I don't particularly care. Anyway, this has been the Shang Turtle Studios. And... Whether you like it or not, I'll be back in the next video. Anyway, that wraps up the first... Well, screw you too!